Safeguarding the nation, my ass. <sighs> Close call, Matt. <sighs> Good teamwork. And luck. A pile of luck, V. Grab what you can, and let's head out. There has to be an exit here, somewhere. Hmm. What's this? stuff. I just hope this won't be a dead end. Songbird said to keep to the tunnels all the way to Elizabeth Crest Street. Any chatter from her? Zero. Dead quiet. Still. Not good. Got a hatch here. Could we jump, maybe? What's eating you? I don't like this. Can you try calling so me again? Okay, gonna give it a shot. You the songbird. Starting to worry us, girl. Song, are you there? No answer, huh? Guess you got me and only me. Great to see you again, Johnny. Curb the enthusiasm, kid. Never know. Could need me. So? Did you reach her? Nothing. No response. Shit. What happened back there? With So May? All I know is she lost control of the spider mech all of a sudden. Maybe of herself, too. Huh. Putting it mildly. She was simultaneously wrestling down the chimera. Monitoring the situation. And staying in touch with you. Still, it is strange. You know, knowing that run comes without a burn risk. No. Impossible. Somi's had occasional off moments lately. Temporary slumps. But I'm sure she's headed where we're headed. Same destination she gave us. It's the reasonable thing to do. Right. Reasonable. Girl's gonna have a hell of a hangover. If she wakes up. How you figure that? Because I wound up at the same rave she went to. Felt like I was underwater. Leagues down. Tried to surface, but this suffocating, sucking sound pulled me back in. Then when she lost control of the chimera, the water turned into fucking boiling tar. Seems like the sitch spiraled out of control. Amen to that. Though actually, could have been a straight overload. Seen runners caught in those. Shit's ugly. So, can we move on? We're heading southwest now. 
feels like we're circling back. Uh-huh. Song mentioned an abandoned building. Place to lie low. No heat sick, so should be relatively safe. I pray you're right, so. you think? Could use a little help. Of course. Oh! A damn fork? Well, we didn't account for this. Which way now? Thoughts? Hmm. Let's try this way. Looks promising. Here? Hansen's a military man. He loves control and hates blind spots. Great. Balls in here. Should plug that. Look for a valve. Looks like a control room.
nine times. You believe it? She must have had her ass welded to that seat. Funny how she has her own street in Night City of all places. That jealousy I'm detecting? Please. Jealous of what? What's the matter? Are you hurt? Nothing. Really. V, please. I have a highly honed nose for bullshit. Got an... experimental Arasaka biochip in my brain. It's killing me, literally. So me says she might have a solution. Wait, you're talking about the relic. That'd be the one. The secretive tech someone stole from Arasaka. On the day Saburo lost his battle with mortality, no less. Bingo. So that's how she could reach you. That also goes a long way toward explaining the nature of your deal. I appreciate the candor. Seems it's all for one and one for all, if we're to survive. Expect in more trouble? Tonight? I expect nothing but. It's best to be prepared for any contingency. Okay, this is us. Eight. Great place for an ambush. Hopefully no one else thinks so. first seems so I'll have to sit tight though I assume I'd rather not sit in the dark power would be useful could also get the radio up and running what can't miss our daily dose of fear mongering we need to know the situation on the ground I want to change out of this mess high time change into those filthy old rags? These filthy old rags won't be smeared all over every TV and terminal screen in the city. Unlike my presidential best. Have a look around. I'll join you in a minute. Check this, B. Attempted postmodern art. More like a home cooked generator. Maybe we kickstart it, literally? Uh huh. Old Thornton engine, pretty run down. A little bit of chew left, too. If the fuel's not degraded, it could actually run. But can't start it. Not without a power source. 
Sure, but seeing as we got a lull in the lead pouring down on us. Listen, got a bad vibe about this. You? That makes two of us. Gig's got too many twists and turns. Songbird, S-tier netrunner, promises a panaceum, a cure-all, then gets wiped off the map. Myers, shady politico, got a dagger thrown at her back all the way from Washington. Who by, and why? Fuck if we know. Oh, plus Kurt Hansen and this fucking Sam launcher. Just preem. Got this hot, itchy feeling in my groin. Like someone's not fessed up to something. Huh. Saying Songbird didn't give us the full picture. Our mystery girl. Usually love a bit of hard to get, but trust me, rarely ends well. Well, not like we had time to really chat. Spent most of it running. SF1, run. Chimera, run again. It's just... Nah. Got some questions for the chick. Hope we get a chance to ask him. Anyway, let's get this power sitch sorted. All good in there? Yes. I know how to change clothes, V. Just because I haven't had to for 12 years. Fire it up. Fingers crossed. Here it goes. And maze balls. Look what I found. What do you say? There's more in the fridge. Feel free. Come on. Just earned yourself a vote, Madam President. Are you even registered? 
Housewarming gift from Songbird, maybe? <sighs> Wouldn't it be wonderful? And circling back to Night City, speculative chatter continues tonight around the downed passenger craft. And U.S. representatives claim President Rosalind Myers was aboard when catastrophe struck. City officials have yet to release any statement. However, one all-too-familiar figure did decide to speak out. Kurt Hansen, the self-proclaimed leader of Dogtown, called a press conference earlier today to offer his take on the situation. I'm being framed. Isn't it obvious? The NUSA's been out for my blood for years. Now I'm not without flaws. But another thing I'm not is suicidal. An attempt on the life of the head of the NUSA? What transpired in Dogtown is no trivial matter. I urge you all to consider the true motives behind this... spectacle. The NUSA will take any excuse it can get to send forces into Dogtown. And will they stop there? <laughs> no. You, good people of Night City, are next in the fucking line. Shit. Mark my Fuck words. This. Troglodyte's clever. Maybe too clever for his own good. Oh, so Hansen's decided to wave a classic false flag. So doubt, reap apprehension towards any in USA attempt to get you back. Both ends fight in the middle. Well, you sure know how to cheer people up. Some mysterious party's out to trigger war. An attempt on my life's a damn good case of spell eye. Gotta let Washington know you're alive ASAP. Ah, call Washington without knowing who'll answer, friend or foe. Should I go outside? Give Hanson Snipers a big thumbs up. No, V. Neither's an option. Hear that? Footsteps. Songbird. Maybe. Can't be sure, though. It's our lucky day, Shumba. A penthouse with a view of the city. And lights that work. No. This doesn't feel right. Nothing ever does with you, does it? You fucking killjoy. You want an angle on Hanson's airdrops? You got it. V, we need to eliminate them. Come on, man. Let's have a look around. Wait. I'll be there. try talking first. I hope you know what you're doing. Weapons! Now! What the fuck? I won't say it again. Yo, 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 chill. Just looking for a place to hold up for the night. This one's taken, clearly. Told you. So I see. This the uh, presidential suite. Shit. Word is they a bounty on the head of Rosalind Myers. What are we gonna do about that? Come on, guys. Let's figure something out. We don't want any problems. Iron in my face. Say otherwise. This iron will stay silent so long as you do. Now that's an idea. But our silence ain't come cheap, yeah? Whoa. Pump the brakes, man. Not now, Tay. I was negotiating. Do you remember negotiating with Hanson? What happened? Not now. I see a U.S. president you're talking to. Guarantee the White House can offer more than some hermit warlord. The White House? But we're already in Hanson's house. If we help each other, I'm prepared to pay double what Hanson would. Jacob. And what's that supposed to look like, exactly? There's enough space for four. It should be easy to stay out of each other's way. But if any uninvited guests arrive, we'll be counting on you to stand with us. This is your chance. There won't be another. Shit. But it might could be our last. You got a deal, Madam Press. And... Want me a ray feed? Jesus Christ. Aha. Uh -huh. Any model in particular? She, my ass will fit them all the same. Tell me where you want it parked.
Will do. So long as your bodyguard don't slit our throats come nighttime. Well, V, do you plan to slit these two gentlemen's throats? All depends on you, Chooms. Gonna have my eye on you. Likewise, Choom. Well, all fucking right. We got us a deal. I like to celebrate new chooms by tossing back a few, but T and I gots to be sharp. Airdrops come morning. Gotta get up early. Same here. Come on, V. It's been a hell of a long day. Watch the master and learn, T. Watch and learn. You're gonna get us killed one of these days. Maybe. But at least you'll kick it with a smile on your face and your balls in the right place. Looking for someone. Asian American woman, about 30. Seen anyone like that? Well, it doesn't ring a bell. But shit. <laughs> you can't ask you to meet at a bar like a normal chew. You pull the night shift? Well, we could call it my part of the deal. And an old habit from the Badlands. So, you a nomad? I was. Once upon a time. Abandon your family? I betrayed them. I'd rather not get into it. What's up, V? Shoot some shit with me? Then spill it, girl. Working for the press. What's it like? Feds probably pay stacks, yeah? I don't work for Myers. Call it a one-time thing. Do you shit in the storm drain and call it a toilet? Don't believe me if you want. So you a merc? Well, damn, you hit the jackpot. Uh-huh. Living the dream. Anyway, you made a wise choice for an overnight. Safe, out of the way. It's even got work and power. Mentioned airdrops before. What's that about? It's like this. Colonel Hansen runs a big market, but he's landlocked, right? Gotta get his shipments in somehow. Talking iron, ammo, meds, fucking anything. All falling out of the sky and into Kurt's lap. Now, if you know where and when to look, might fall into your lap instead. Feel me? Telling me finders keepers. Clipping from Kurt. It's kid stuff. Trickle down economics, I call it. Mention Kurt Hansen. You and him got some kind of beef? See this junk? Hansen's goons took my organic leg. <sighs> That's tough was a conflict of interest. Colonel Dipshit don't appreciate motivated entrepreneurs like myself. Wanted to start a little side biz, yeah? But I forgot all about the registration fee. Now I serve as a warning to the rest. So, one thing I don't get. Building safe, right? So why is it a total ghost town? Right. Well, that's because it's haunted. But don't worry, baby. You safe with me. Jacob. It's true. A lot of peeps died here. Mysterious circumstances. Like an aneurysm, each and every one. One time, 12 runners they found. All their brains fried. Hansen closed the house down, banned entry. And the colonel's word means lots more than some turrets and shit. Folks know to stay away. So what are we still doing here? Cause fuck them, that's what. And fuck urban legends. Finally. My legs are killing me. Come on. Take a breather. 
still nothing from So Me. Radio silence. She's never gone dark this long. Troubling, to say the least. So, what if Songbird don't show? We need to wait. It's all we can do for now. If she doesn't show, well... Then... I'll have one other option to consider. But let's table it till morning. We should get some rest. <laughs> Surreal. All of it. What's that? I'd have been home by now. Reading the evening brief, glass of water and two sleeping pills waiting on the night table. Doesn't sound like you miss it much. Hmm. See you in the morning, Dee.